Hello all of my little baby bunnies and welcome back to Let's Play Lady Killer in a Bind. This is Karen with Karen and Bob Gaming and when we last left off we met this bro guy who I fucking hate. <laughs> He's super annoying and I'm clearly trying to get in with the lieutenant and uh and the, the cute nerdy girl, the hacker, I think is what she's called. So fucking, let's ignore this guy because he's annoying. Let's move on. Gross. <laughs> and for yourself, sir? Even after all that, I was still not used to being called sir and it took me a moment to respond. And in that moment, the bro jumped in. He'll also have a virgin. Just coffee, please. Of course, milk or cream? Cream. And for you, sir? Same as him. There's no need for any cream. I like my coffee like I like my women. Holy shit, dude. Don't. Just don't. Whatever you're going to say, it's only funny in your head. I can't believe she's smiling when she's saying that. I would have the biggest <laughs> angry face on if someone said that to me. Trust me. Finally, someone who isn't afraid to tell him to shut up, you're okay. Yeah, I, I hope your kitchen doesn't burn down. Thank you both. Anyway, Virgin Caesar, one mimosa, two coffees, coming up. I'll let you take a look at the menus. Take your time. We all opened them up and the conversation slowed down. There wasn't really anything else anyone said after that which mattered, but... Hey, come on, lots of people tell me to shut up. You tell her, fuckface. Remember that toast that uncle what's his name on my side of the family made at last reunion? The drunk one? Like, the one that was drunk as fuck? Uh, sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> and that's when it hit me. Of course I recognized him. It wasn't that I'd seen him, on, bleh, seen him on the cruise before. So who was he then? He's Blank's son. <laughs> Blank's? I don't know who Blank is. Why didn't you warn me he was at your school? How did he think this wasn't worth telling- How did you think this one wasn't worth telling me about? I don't know who this is supposed to be. Is this some fucking Beatrix kiddo bullshit, like from Kill Bill? Oh, yes. Of course he is. It just didn't seem that important. Seriously, you didn't think it would be important to tell me to look out for our cousin? <laughs> <coughs> That's funny. Okay. Alright, day two- Oh, day one, late evening. Nice. It was just past midnight and I didn't know where I was heading for the night at that point. The boss had promised that she'd help me with my clothes regardless of where I ended up. Huh. Uh, where's that secret scene that I was supposed to get? I don't- I'm not sure what happened there. But she'd also passed on a message from the princess, although I didn't really know what she was- who she was at that point. There was something important she'd like to propose in her room. Mm -hmm. I decided to just take a walk. Think things over. Maybe admire some of the architecture in the hallway. Clear my head. Somehow, I don't think of you as the art deco type. Look, I know I seem incredibly cool, and well, it's because I am. But the whole thing was overwhelming, even for me. <laughs> in any event, after wandering for a while, I found myself out on the deck. The night was quiet, and the cool air was calming. Just what I needed. I was kind of spaced out, but eventually I noticed that the hacker seemed to have been lingering in the hall behind me, a distance away. Uh, hello. Are you following me? Fuckface! I'm sorry, I, I, I called out your name several times, but you didn't seem to hear. I'm, I'm not very good at yelling. Sorry. She did have a very quiet voice. I believed her. Okay, okay. Fair enough. What's up? Well, it's just... I just wanted to ask you... Uh, that is, I heard you changed your plans? I was at a loss. But given her shy stammering, I just hoped that she wouldn't be suspicious when I had no idea what she was talking about. I, I've made a lot of plan this week. You'll have to be more specific. Uh... uh you know, us being room roommates. Those plans. Oh. Oh, interesting. Um... Stoic? That's my only choice? Oh, 
So, sorry about that. I don't remember what I said exactly, but I think there might have been a misunderstanding. I, I only get one week left with everyone. I don't really want to be tied down, you know? I'm sure you understand. I don't... I don't think I... Oh, God. This hurts my heart. Oh. Oh. Oh, you mean... Yeah. Yes, I understand. Of course. You're... You're a really popular guy. I get what you mean completely. I just want to keep my options open. That's all. Of course. I guess I have a lot of competition, don't I? Uh, that's, that's just a joke. I'm just joking. I smiled at her. Oh, poor girl. I know. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to get the wrong idea. I... It's just saying goodbye to everyone's really important to me. That's all. Of course, you don't have to justify yourself. I'm sorry, it's my fault for assuming. She glanced around, unable to look me in the eyes, clearly psyching herself up to say something. Maybe you'd hang out with me one night, though? I mean, if you'd like. If it turns out you're not busy with someone else, it would be good to see you, that's all. If not, I understand, it's okay. I shrugged and just tried to give a non-committal response. Oh no, you didn't even give me a choice to say yes? Yeah, maybe. We'll see how it goes, but I'd like that. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you around then. Oh, poor girl. Okay, so what is that? Five segments of the day? Where did you spend your night? <coughs> Okay, um, removes all suspicion, uh, which I don't have any suspicion right now, so that doesn't matter. Or I could hang out with the hacker. I think, I think I will. I think I'll go hang out with the hacker. That's my only plausible action at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, I like this music. Before she managed to get too far away, though, I managed to chase her down, having changed my mind. Wait! Ah! Sorry, you seemed so sad when I said no. Does the offer still stand? Offer? Oh, um, yes, of course. I'd really love to. You know where I'm going with this, right? I know you said you wanted all the sexy details, but... Well, I don't know. You seem a little straight-laced. Do you actually know what sex is? I just wanted to check. Very funny. <laughs> <coughs> okay, but like, seriously. Do you want me to give you an opportunity to skip out of me describe getting laid? Because if you don't say anything, I'm gonna brag. And trust me, man, there's a lot to brag about. <laughs> this is wonderful. Do you want the option to skip it? I'll leave it at the top of the screen during each sex scene if you say yes. Oh! Oh no, I don't want to skip it. No, I want- I want all the dirty details. I can handle it. Okay, if you say so. You can change it to the settings if you change your mind. No. Okay, so you can actually censor it yourself if you want to. That's actually a nice little option. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, good lord. Fine. Now, will you continue your story? This is great. <laughs> I'm gonna get laid. <laughs> I could tell that she had a crush on you, probably for a very long time. But I'd never seriously considered that you might actually reciprocate. Okay, so I wonder if I should be honest. You appear to have the option to remove suspicion if needed. But, like, I'm curious about how you get, a get away with banging all these girls um, without, like, making it obvious that you're a girl <laughs> and not a guy. Or maybe you just lie to them and say that I'm actually, uh, fuckface was always a girl. That's so weird. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work out. But considering that I'm kind of all out of time right now, I'm gonna go ahead and end it because I don't wanna, I don't wanna make this decision lightly. I, I'd like to keep the suspicion as low as I can, but I also don't wanna be a shithead. So anyways, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pause it. Thanks everybody for watching. 
As always, it's much appreciated. Make sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to do any of those things. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Lady Killer in a Bind. Bye!